What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on this um, start of the work week. That is if you had a three-day weekend. Tuesday, uh, September 6, 2022. It is about 1.28 p.m. California time here where we're expected to top out at 116 degrees today here uh, with some uh, all-time records possibly being um, reached here in Northern California. Uh, latest quake a 1.8 earthquake into the area of Puerto Rico. Uh, this comes after a 4.1 earthquake in the uh, Dominican Republic area, it looks like, uh, just a short time ago. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here uh, from the USGS map showing the uh, earthquake activity here. Doesn't look like uh, the USGS has the 4.1 listed up here on the map um, quite yet. Uh, sometimes it does take them a little bit to uh, get that notification out but EMSC model on the earthquake 3d globe definitely reporting some uh, some seismic activity within that region and uh, seeing a little activity ramping up this morning here in the Puerto Rico area in our typical swarming area uh, but also some uh, up north too around the uh, Mona trough area Mona sea mounts uh, up towards the Puerto Rico trench and overall uh, once that 4.1 earthquake pops up here uh, it will definitely show a little bit overall seismic activity uptick around the Caribbean plate. Uh, we did see a 5.2 and a 4.3 off the coast of Nicaragua. Uh, the 5.2 was inland uh, at about 10 kilometers. So overall, definitely some uh, seismic increase here along the middle America Trench. Looking at the west coast, Pacific Northwest, a couple spotty earthquakes throughout the area. Still seeing some movement here into the northern California region, although I think that most most of this activity here is from uh, late last night, I believe, up along the uh, Cascadia Megathrust Zone. Uh, as we work our way down south, just a little bit of activity here and there. Uh, even in Southern California, we're not seeing a dramatic uh, amount of earthquake activity. Did see a 3.4 in the uh, Banning, California area this one striking overnight earlier this morning here but uh again overall since we've seen all that movement westward and i'm talking about the china earthquakes and all the activity we've seen over here along the pacific plate and adjacent plates definitely seems to uh kind of halted a little bit of the seismic swarm uh, that we we're noticing along the west coast uh, a couple days ago and that includes areas around yellowstone if you remember we did have a pretty good amount of uh, earthquake activity ramping up there in a short amount of time but looking at the most recent seismograph um, stations here across the Yellowstone area, there's a little bit of movement kicking up here. Looks like uh, just earlier this morning time frame. Uh, so maybe possibly getting back into it as far as the earthquake swarm goes. But nothing like we've seen here a night or so ago when there was just a rapid amount of earthquake activity in a short amount of time. Uh, we don't see it all too often. Uh, a lot of times it could be with groundwater. Um, soaking the uh the uh, the depths below but it does take quite a while to get down there but then again gotta remember we got snow melt throughout the winter time uh it's springtime i should say and also that uh, pretty good amount of flooding they had up here uh, could contribute to the uh swarms on occasion but for now a little bit of seismic activity kicking up there uh around the northwest corner of the park it looks like the usgs did uh where's their map at did show a little bit um, looks like it's mostly focused around the Hebgen Lake area outside of the Yellowstone region, uh, just right next door technically. So not for sure if they're going to get to these other earthquakes that were listed there on the map, but we'll watch it and see if they do. Uh, again, West Coast, some spotty activity up and down the board, but no major seismic swarms to take note of. Uh, and that goes for the rest of the states, a little spotty activity throughout Oklahoma, Western Texas, and right around the New Madrid zone, uh, just outside of the Jonesboro uh, area, 1.1 at 9.4 kilometers. So still pretty active in terms of seeing at least a couple microquakes here and there on occasion around the New Madrid zone. Up into the Alaska area, got uh, a little bit more movement up here it looks like compared to the west coast as far as recent activity goes. The 2.5 map and above though only shows a 2.5 and a 2.6 scattered out and about most of this movement here all microquake activity uh, no major swarms to report around the area or at any volcanoes uh, out here 
in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, Mauna Loa showing a little bit of seismic activity today. Microquake activity, that is. And down here in Pahala, uh, in our typical swarming fashion uh, that continues today there in that area. No major seismic unrest so far as any unusual activity goes on the Big Island. Uh, Western Pacific over here. A couple spotty earthquakes around Japan. Although, uh, if you look at it, it's pretty well spread out. Look at these equal distances here around these plate boundaries. Uh, and kind of these bend areas where they uh, kind of... Um, uh, transform the pressure so to speak uh, throughout the rest of the plate um, Indian Ocean most of this activity uh, looks like it was from yesterday I'm trying to find the more recent activity looks like Japan China did see a little aftershock sequence up there with a 4.7 but the majority of this earthquake activity here across this uh, this portion of the world quiet um, Aside from these older earthquake uh, movements there from uh, late last night and yesterday's time frame. One area I did see a little uptick here in the South Sandwich Islands. Seen a 5.9, a 5.3, and a 5.7. So things kind of kicking up here in the area where that 8-pointer struck. Actually, the 8-pointer struck just a little bit south here into the South Sandwich Trench. But still, uh, definitely a seismic increase in pressure here along the subduction zone. Um, and those it does get some big earthquakes here. I don't think we'll see another eight uh, anytime soon But uh, it's definitely bouncing today as far as earthquake activity goes in the South Sandwich Islands 5.0 And uh, some older movement there in Chile from last night the five point uh, looks like the 5.0 from this morning though Into the Peru Chile trench couple deep earthquakes there 109 the deepest one uh, let's see what else we got here. We checked out the Yellowstone map. Check out the trimmer map from last night. Wasn't a whole lot on it. In fact, there was zero. Zero trimmers here along the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, we'll check the volcanic seismicity map here around the Newberry volcano in Oregon. Uh, and I believe this one right here is the one that is functionable. Doesn't look like any earthquake activity being reported around the Newberry volcano. But uh, I do like to check out these seismograph stations on occasion and see uh, f see if maybe uh, anything's not being reported. It looks like one. There's a pretty well-defined earthquake here. Maybe a couple other smaller ones. But uh, noticing this uh, web recorder, the seismograph station uh, signature here looks pretty uh, looks good as far as the uh, measurements go. So that it is picking up some earthquake activity. Uh, just a couple small ones, very small microquakes. Uh, but I don't believe USGS is showing anything here. On the map, we'll check out the uh, all magnitudes map here from the Newberry. And I'm not seeing anything kicking up here around this area. Uh, make sure to refresh this. Double check. Everything looks pretty calm, clear throughout the Oregon area. Uh, Mountain Hood and outside of Salem had a little bit, little bit of activity. Mount St. Helens as well. But no major changes there to report across the board in the volcanoes. Uh, space weather activity. Let's see what we got here going today. I'm sure things are uh, mellowing out a little bit after the last couple days there of uh, some GP or uh, KP index up around the six range. Some G2 class storming there for a little extended period. Uh, and it seems as though that's when we were having the major uptick in earthquake activity and plate movement all at once there. So a little bit of a uh, relation there possibly between those two. I do like to uh, count uh, the uh, percentages far as when we see major upticks um, along with um, uh, major space weather events uh, compared to when we see major upticks in earthquakes without the space weather events. And uh, right now it tends to lean towards the solar weather activity being a contributor to the uh, earthquake activity. Uh, but not all the time see what we got here chrono hole of course is facing away from earth that's the uh the one that kind of produced those g2 storms or g2 class storming over the last couple days so right now not dealing with a whole lot this one's kind of an older image here's the more recent image showing it much further here on the western limb and we do have a couple sunspots growing um and will be directed towards earth here pretty soon this map is old again this says updated september 6 but that's not the case. It looks like a little bit older image. Got to go to this one here. The latest to see these sunspots and the dynamics of the magnetic uh, fields that they harbor. And there's not a lot. Uh, these are just kind of looking a little on the wimpy side. 
even these newer sunspots here coming up around the northeastern limb uh, is not looking all that great in terms of solar flare activity. Uh, right now only a 50% chance at best for a C flare, M flare down to 5% and a less than X or less than 1% there for an X flare. And uh, nothing really to uh, expect here for any proton events. Everything's kind of mellowing out here. A little extended period of quietness I think we have in the future as far as solar weather activity goes. Um, and that's, uh, you know, that's not going to change unless we see a couple of these develop in the harbor a little bit more magnetic, uh, complex m magnetic fields here. But we'll keep an eye on it for sure. Uh, as we all know, things can rapidly develop from these sunspots in any given day. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here, folks? Um, I think that's about it. Again, um, you know, a little, little swarming kicking back up here around the northwest corner of Yellowstone. But uh, let me show you guys the other day what it looked like. The other night, I should say, when we just had a uh, just an intense amount of earthquake activity all at once. This was the night right here. Kind of kicked up out of the blue. Just did a, you know, it's, uh, it's hard to say exactly what causes these swarms 100%. Uh, USGS states sometimes it's, you know, water uh, soaking the ground. Uh, way down below, you know, interacting with the heat below that could cause these uh, earthquakes. But, uh, you know, I, I kind of like to watch these little events and see how it plays out. Uh, let me go back to the next day. Stand by for a second here. Yeah, the next day there wasn't a whole lot. It just kind of completely halted. And all this activity kind of came to a an abrupt halt once we seen the uh, that earthquake in China kick off there. Uh, a couple days ago just completely stopped but now we're uh, returning to a little bit of swarming but nothing again nothing like this what we've seen we'll continue to watch it though all right guys i uh, got a pretty busy day got to catch up on some school work and a couple lectures coming in here so we will be busy but uh off on the side here a little bit and uh we'll be back a little bit later on tonight with the update video here on this tuesday uh, until then, stay safe out there and make sure you guys are prepared. Here's the EMSC model still showing some activity ramping up uh, around the Indonesia area and, of course, up around Japan. But as uh, far as the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire here along the western portion, southwestern portion, very quiet. Notice that there's not a whole lot of new activity showing up here on the plate boundary. And the same for the uh, west coast over here along the eastern Pacific. Things are just kind of... Uh, I don't know, kind of at a standstill at the moment. So we'll watch it and see how it plays out, folks. Have a good day. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on this evening. Take care, everyone. Peace out.